Ghanaian Society, OGS Abuja, respectfully presents to you a TV documentary series to be known as Hail Kola Karisma, which is a line borrowed from the last stanza of the school song of Nigeria's oldest secondary school. The documentary series will showcase in vivid graphic terms its beginning, the spectacular journey through the years and the unique features that define its remarkable existence. The Lagos-based central organ of the old Grammarian society welcomed the idea and described it as laudable. The series is scheduled for launch on June 6, 2015 to commemorate the 156th Founders' Day anniversary. The production of the first edition is almost concluded. The OGS Abuja will need some financial and moral assistance which will go a long way to help fulfill our modest dream of contributing our quota to the development and growth of our alma mater. The preeminent position bestowed by history the top class education it offers and the strict adherence to positive human values based on firm Anglican doctrines have continued to combine to make the institution a secondary school of choice among many aspiring primary school leavers. In matters concerning the molding of character and the development of human minds, there is always room for improvement, especially in areas of providing basic facilities. From time to time, the Old Grammarians Society, the Alumni Association of Old Boys of the School, existing in different parts of the country and overseas, play a remarkable role in this regard. It is for the runs of this laudable function that the OGS Abuja branch has independently launched this campaign to earnestly appeal to friends and well-wishers to donate towards this noble objective. In liaison with the school authorities and the OGS central body, the Abuja branch OGS will use the fund so realized to build a befitting and well-equipped secretariat for the OGS central body. The Secretariat will also include other facilities like the Hall of Fame, shop and others. There is no limit to the amount being targeted in this exercise. All donations can be made to the Old Grammarians Society Abuja. Bank GT Bank Account number 0129-401-622 or call Boyega Adilaja on 0806-878-5349. Eight six four four nine two two. Tony Akin Johnson zero eight zero three three zero five three one five two. Patrick Opa zero eight zero two three zero two one two three four. Hail Skola Karisma. The pressure on us as old boys of the first secondary school in the country is to set a standard which is extremely high. OGS has been actually very instrumental to the return of the school. You recall that the school was uh, taken over by the government uh, some years back. Any time that um, you are involved in anything concerning the grammar school, the recurring decimal that keeps coming to your mind is that phrase in the school song that says, oh, and on. And the grammar school of our time, you know, the line, uh, line Street, was disciplined as well as relaxed. The thing about this education in grammar school was that it was very broad uh, cultural education. In other words, you were, you were brought up to be a civilized being, generally. But you also had the opportunity to prepare yourself for specific uh, professional careers that you, you had in mind. The school had always had men of character as its leaders. You know, people with strong Christian um, spirits. You know, you look at them, you look at them, people like um, Babante Macaulay himself, Professor Lewis, then came the Adila generation. Yes, we went there to pass exams, but you know, what they injected in us was character. Character. You know, and um, that's the thing I think we lost from 1980 when the government took over. I entered the school in January 1954. I left December 1958, so I was there for five years. And uh, it was uh, 
from my own perspective, a special school. My father had attended the school. My father left the Sherman's Grammar School in 1938. He was a classmate of Mr. Williams and uh, Bar Hafner. I didn't choose to go to the grammar school on my own. Um, it was the obvious thing. If you went to CMS Gap School, um, when you reach certain age, then you take an entrance examination to the CMS Grammar School. And one, I was one of those privileged ones to have attended the CMS Gap School in Lagos. And one of those who also qualified to enter the grammar school. We were doing an examination, a final examination in 1932 or 33. And our school teacher was a man called M.A. Oyewole, brilliant man, but he never suffered fools readily. And when he knew that entrance examination to the CMS Grammar School, which was then under the principalship of Mr. or Reverend, Reverend J. O. Lucas, he decided that we had done, had enough at Ologbo Methodist School, we should now think of his own former school which was the same as grammar school. That's how, without even relating this to the fact that my father and my elder brother went there, we were influenced by Mr. Emmy Uyoli. And that's how we got ourselves into the same as grammar school. And all he did was simply to get us in to go and meet with the principal under his own direction. And we met the headmaster. And he said, well, you might as well sit down and go through the entrance exams. And that's how we went through the ex entrance exam, wrote me and myself. And luckily, we passed. Founders of the school who you might call very old-fashioned. They belong to the very old class of educated people, and they meant that to be well-educated, you must be able to speak a language which perhaps might be foreign to a lot of people. <laughs> Mirian Society, OGS Abuja, respectfully presents to you a TV documentary series to be known as Hail Skola Karishma, which is a line borrowed from the last stanza of the school song of Nigeria's oldest secondary school. The documentary series will showcase in vivid graphic terms its beginning, the spectacular journey through the years and the unique features that define its remarkable existence. The Lagos-based central organ of the Old Grammarians Society welcomed the idea and described it as laudable. The series is scheduled for launch on June 6, 2015 to commemorate the 156th Founders' Day anniversary. The production of the first edition is almost concluded. The OGS Abuja will need some financial and moral assistance, which will go a long way to help fulfill our modest dream of contributing our quota to the development and growth of our alma mater. The preeminent position bestowed by history the top class education it offers and the strict adherence to positive human values based on firm Anglican doctrines have continued to combine to make the institution a secondary school of choice among many aspiring primary school leavers. In matters concerning the molding of character and the development of human minds, there is always room for improvement, especially in areas of providing basic facilities. From time to time, the Old Grammarians Society, the Alumni Association of Old Boys of the School, existing in different parts of the country and overseas, play a remarkable role in this regard. 
It is furtherance of this laudable function that the OGS Abuja branch has independently launched this campaign to earnestly appeal to friends and well-wishers to donate towards this noble objective. In liaison with the school authorities and the OGS central body, the Abuja branch OGS will use the fund so realized to build a befitting and well-equipped secretariat for the OGS central body. The secretariat will also include other facilities like the Hall of Fame, shop and others. There is no limit to the amount being targeted in this exercise. All donations can be made to the Old Grammarian Society Abuja, Bank, GT Bank, Account number 0129-401-622 or call Boyega Adilaja on 0806-878-5349. Professor Kenneth Iwugo 0803-8644-922. Tony Akin Johnson 0803-305-3152. Patrick Opa 0802-302-1234. Hill Skolaka Risma.